Hey, what's up guys? Android Extremist here from AndroidExtremist.com right now with Galaxy S3. I'm gonna use my AT&T Galaxy S3 again to demonstrate how to root this phone and many Galaxy S3 that exist in the world of Android. And if you could see right there, you probably know that I just got my S3 and that's what it looks like when you get your S3. And uh, first thing I do when I get my Android is root. So again, if I go right there, it will give you all my suggestion and stuff. So that means it just it is brand new. And let me go ahead and go to setting and show you what I'm running. It's the ice cream sandwich 4.0.4. And uh, let me go to my app drawer and show you I do not have any root applications. So today we're going to root this phone. And I'm going to show you step by step on how to do that. So let's go ahead and plug in. Or actually go to setting again, go to developers options, and here select USB debugging and OK that. Once that is done, press home button and connect your phone to your computer via micro USB cable. And now we're going to go to your computer, and what you're going to need is uh, two files, which will look like this. If you have correct drivers, that should pop up. If you don't, do not worry. I'm going to show you how to install the drivers too. So that's why I'm going to do this step by step tutorial. Now, same on Zip Manager, you might not need that, but this is what you need mostly. So double click that. Press yes. Press next, next. And make sure you install both of these files. It says main file and drivers. You need drivers. So next. And this is the desired place where you want to have your toolkit at. So I'm going to have my root folder. That's where I'm going to have it. And it says the package was unable to replace. So press OK because I already have it. And uh, if you get that, just keep going. I already had it. That's why that happened. Because, but after you're done doing all that this is the message it's going to pop up so make sure that you have this one selected and press close which will open up this guy right here the command prompt and now if you want to check for update like if you're doing using this video after a couple of months make sure you want to you press yes and update i really don't need to update right now and these are the models that it supports i would like to Thank MS Skip for making this. Uh, what do you call it? toolkit? Widely available for different Samsung phones. I think it's available for many HTC too, but I'm not sure. But it's widely available on the all popular phones like Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy S3, or Nexus 4, Galaxy Nexus. It's been available for that. Now the model that covers is everything that you got on your wide variety of S3, like Internet the 4G LTE or 4G version. AT&T, Bell Roger scale, Talos, uh, connect, uh, it supports Wind or Wind, whatever you call, Metro PCS, US Cellular Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, GSM, International GSM, International LTE, International 4G, so it supports everything, so these are the models that you got, so make sure you support, like you select which one you got, so mine is 41, because I have 4.0.4, so you might want to make sure that you got GT300 and make sure what Android version you're running. That's why I showed you my 4.0.4. So I'm going to select that and that is number 41. So what I'm going to do is go to run there, press 41 and press enter. And now it's going to download additional stuff that you need. It needs to run this toolkit. And as you can see, it's quite fast, so depending on your internet speed, this will take time. And once that is done, we'll be able to use this toolkit fully and extend versions. And we're going to root our phone using this toolkit. It is fairly easy, it just takes a couple of commands that you need to type. Read and type, that's it. Not space science. And rooting your phone will help you out dramatically on improving your performance of the Android because Samsung likes to install heavy applications and all the bloatware that you might not need in your real life. And if you want to see more of the message right there, 
and let me zoom in so you can see it better and there you go this is the actual command menu on what it can do and cannot so you're gonna press number one as I said if you don't have the drivers press number one and press one again I already have it so I'm gonna press two and go back so make sure you go through that installing drivers and you can flash Insecure boot image only and ADB root access on number three rename recovery flash custom recovery Reflash stock recovery and there is different command and different stuff you can do with this toolkit We are going to press number two and enter that's what you're going to use to root the you have all these different options I'm gonna select Number four because all I need is the custom recovery and uh, root like super user or super su and other options you can select uh, insecure kernel Boot image is a kernel and all in one means flash like insecure boot image recovery root busy box and rename restore files. I'm just gonna select number four. You can select from one, two, three, four, five. Any of that. I'm gonna select four. Press enter. Do you have a custom recovery installed? No, I don't. So press no. Press enter. So the, right here you can select clockwork recovery or TWRP. I'm gonna select TWRP because they update really fast. And uh, super SU or super user, whichever one you like. I'm selecting number two because that is recommended and I know chain file personally, so I'll select that. And USB debugging must be on, so we already triggered that. So make sure you press yes right there. Just press Y and enter. And Reboot root rebooting phone into download mode. So your phone will boot into download mode right here There you go. It's download mode and It's your make sure auto reboot and F3 set is on So this is the things you want to make sure you're doing so make sure auto reboot and F3 set time are ticked in Odin and nothing else and click PDA button and open up so you might want to read through this or you can just follow this video again these two are ticked off as you can see press PDA and uh, I'm gonna bring this one down and I'm gonna go to my computer go to C drive go to the toolkit you're gonna have to navigate there and uh, go to the root folder and that's what my selected model is so I'm gonna select that and right here is the different things you got might have to go and really click on PDA okay folder oh you don't need to select root I'm sorry you need to select recovery and double click on recovery and this is, these are the recovery you got now they have different versions so I'm gonna select i747 TWRP I'm sorry you cannot see that that is right there and press open there you go so make sure that auto reboot F reset and PDA is and start let me zoom out so you can see it better say recovery and this is your phone say reset your phone will reboot and there you go your phone is rebooting So after this is done, go ahead and cancel this one out. Now it says waiting for device to be detected. Right there. So once your device gets detected, it will start working again. And there you go. Now what you can do is uh, push root files via ADB, then reboot custom recovery. So press number one. and press 1 see 
if you can see right there it would give you all the command and now you'll boot into the recovery so it just pushed the team win not team win but the super su so go down and you will see super su recovery zip so just go ahead and slide that and you will be able to see that right here now if you did not see what i just did let me go ahead and show you again so press home so we I, all all i did is went to install scroll down make sure you're an internal select that super su 0.99 recovery zip and swipe away reboot system and there you go you're rooted now that's how you root your phone you don't need to do anything else on your thing press any key to go to main menu and you're on main menu you can install busybox and everything from the play store if you want and this is how you root your AT&T Galaxy S3 and I'm going to show you that everything is running perfect there is no problem with this route and this is how you root your phone onto Windows computer this is for all the Galaxy S3 there is different methods for everything so let's go ahead and go to the Super SU and there you go I'm going to go ahead and download one of the application that needs super user permission so hey guys so as you can see i have downloaded the titanium backup pro and regular titanium backup application and it does asking for the root permission i'm going to go ahead and remove all application go back to my titanium backup actually go back to my super su and save so there you go your root finally works and uh, let's go ahead and boot into the recovery or you saw recovery already so there is no point of me showing you the recovery and that's how you root your at and Galaxy S3 again for more videos go ahead and subscribe feel free to like my videos if it helped you out and uh, don't forget to comment with your questions and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching guys